Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Cyrus Creations and I believe you all are doing great. If you are new to my channel and just stopping by, I teach sewing, cooking and DIY projects. You are very warmly welcome. Just go ahead and subscribe so you can get all the further updates related with this channel. If you are already a regular subscriber, I'm sure you are already enjoying all the wonderful cooking, sewing and DIY projects over here. Today, I have a bring and other sewing project as we are heading to spring soon. So I decided to bring an other adorable face mask project today i'm gonna teach you how to create this spring bunny adorable face mask i have used two different kind of fabrics for backing and for front but the main project which i'm gonna teach you how to embroider this beautiful bunny and we also gonna do the adjustable nose bridge and also adjustable elastic loops this project is so much fun and i'm so much in love with this project so let's go ahead and start out to the project so this designer face mask video is also pretty simple as my previous videos for this project uh, we definitely need uh, any uh, fabric you know whatever you like i have this bunny patches here so i'm using those one which is left over from this project i had made a pleated face mask bunny face mask and uh, backing i have used other pretty you know spring printed fabric if you want to learn how to make this simple pleated pocket face mask i will put link in the description box so you can follow step by step uh, directions okay. okay as you can see we just have a sewed so now it's time to cutting so we're just gonna place right side right side together okay and we will just going to try follow the exactly top patch to the bottom all right and also it's up to you like you see i have cut the extra fabric so we can cut extra fabric as well all right that's how you have prepared your two patches so the next step I just gonna embroidered I already have a guideline we just gonna hand stitch hand embroidered this bunny exactly the same way we have did this one so I'm using here two string embroidered thread which I already have uh, make a knot and we're just gonna do a stem stitch which already I have a teach on my channel I will put link on a description box so you can follow step by step guideline or even if you don't want to do stem stitch just use a basic stitch go back forth back forth you know are we just going to cover those lines as you can see how nicely we have embroidered we're just gonna make a knot on the back 
and then we will finish our other side of bunny ear Okay, I'm gonna, gonna finish this side and those eyes too and then I will be back. And as you can see, our both embroidery patches are done. So now we're simply just gonna place them on top of each other, right sides in and wrong sides out. And we're just gonna sew in the center on a quarter inch distance. And it's the same exactly thing we're gonna go with the, our backing fabric as well. So head to our sewing machine now we are just going to iron this and then we have to stitch on a quarter inch to keep secure our all the stitches so we are just going to do ironing first. So as you can see, we have sewed our both patches. Now the next step is we're just going to take wrong side outsides and right sides inside and we simply just going to stitch from the bottom and from the top and we're gonna leave the openings open okay so once i have a stitch from top and bottom and then i will be back Alright, as you can see, we have a flip over mask inside out, and I also have a folded tuck inside a quarter inch, if you see. So the next part, the bending nose bridge is optional if you want to use it. I'm using this guarding wire, you can use this, and we're just gonna leave uh, like a half inches on both sides, and we're just gonna place on top of our uh, mask okay but if you notice i have a uh, banded both sides so uh, this not gonna damage our fabric okay so just go ahead
Okay. Once your hands fill it, it's on a top top. After that, you can start pinning up. Okay. Okay, so I can feel my the my wire is on top of edge. Okay, so we're just gonna sew on a quarter inch distance around the wire, and also we also gonna place our elastic loops on both sides, and our project is pretty much almost done. Just have to sew. okay so now we're just gonna sew around our full mask on the sides on the top and on the bottom okay so let's head to our sewing machine now Thank you so much for watching our today's sewing project. As you can see, we have created a beautifully adorable bunny face mask. And if you notice before the embroidery and after the embroidery, this project have made a big difference. If you really like our today's sewing episode, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share with your family and friends so I can continually hit more subscribers and keep sharing cooking, sewing and DIY projects with you all. I love you all. God bless you all. Be safe wherever you are and have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.